Welcome to Kids Invent Stuff, the YouTube channel where we bring to life kids' invention ideas. And this month it's really exciting because we're not just bringing to life one invention, we are bringing to life three. Three! We're going to be building three kids' hotel room inventions in the workshop and then we're going to be shipping those inventions to install them in a Hilton hotel in London. So a massive thank you to Hilton for supporting this challenge. Thank you guys. I think this is going to be an interesting build. Kids invent stuff. So we're going to be bringing to life Evie's bed den. It's a den that folds out over the bed and it's got speakers and lights and it's a place to escape to. And we're going to build Rue's emergency bath, which is a bath that inflates so that even if you've only got a shower, you can still have a bath. And we're going to make Connie's invention idea, which is quite simply turning the whole hotel room into a rainforest. Let's go. So to attach Evie's canopy to the bed, we've got some lengths of aluminium. We've got four pulleys and two motors and some rope. And we're going to attach those together on either side of the bed so the canopy can open and close automatically. Ruth, what are you doing? <sighs> uh, we have marked out a double bed to make our den bed. So we're going to have some sort of pipe and material above the person uh, so that when they're asleep, just like this, uh, they'll have the den bed above them. See you in a bit. <laughs> We've got a motorised pulley. Yeah! <laughs> it's like an award. Best engineer. When we set this invention challenge, we put together a video where we hid a whole load of unicorns in that video. And we challenged people at home to leave comments in that video to say just how many unicorns there were. And we priced a prize for the person who could guess the right amount. And, drum roll, <laughs> there were 10 unicorns hidden in that video. And the person who's going to win that prize is Macy. So Macy, we will let you know where to send your address and we will send you that prize. So to make the moving canopy for Evie's bed den invention, we've got this amazing rainforest fabric covered in parrots. And we're gonna use some of this flexible pipe to create hoops that we're going to sew into the fabric itself using our sewing machine. We can hopefully create this movable, flexible structure. Right, so that's one edge and we've sewn a few bits together. Now we've got to create some loops in the material so we can enclose our flexible pipes to make the top of our canopy. So if we've measured correctly, the pipe should fit conveniently inside the fabric. Look at that. Right, so now we just need some longer pipes some more little stitched pockets, and in theory, we should now be able to cut to a wonderful shot of a bigger version of this. Hi! Um, I'm just arranging our poles that we've slid inside a nice big fabric canopy. Look, it's kind of messy at the moment, but it's like a big parrot tent, a big colorful parrot tent. So we've threaded our poles through our fabric, We've got six of these poles all the way along and we are going to connect those onto our aluminium rails with our motors and our pulleys to pull it backwards and forwards so it can fold out over the top of the bed. So it is <laughs> night time, look, night time, and we are in the studio and we've basically filled, we've got a nice workshop through there, but we've filled the table in the studio with... We've made like a weird bed shape thing. We've come with this mechanism, but we're not entirely sure if it's gonna work with the fabric. And so we thought we'd recreate it. We've got our <laughs> pulleys and some aluminium. And then we've got our motors here. And the plan is basically to have these big hoops that go over the top. And it's all gonna fit on a bed in our hotel room that Hilton have given us in London. So we've gotta ship it all up to London from where we are in Cornwall. And hope that it assembles correctly and fits on their bed and there's lots of things that could possibly go wrong. Ah! Having fun. I get all the best jobs. So we're making Rue's emergency bath. 
Now to make inflatables from scratch, you need some specialist tools, which unfortunately we don't have. So we've got this lovely green paddling pool. In fact, we've got a few lovely green paddling pools um, to match our rainforest theme. Now it needs to be small enough to fit in a shower cubicle but this isn't really very deep. You can't really have a bath in this, you'd look a bit silly. Uh, so this is why we've got a few of them and we've cut the bottoms off them so we can stack them up and we're gonna assemble them together and then make sure that they inflate automatically. I'm feeling a little bit dizzy. And it wouldn't be a bath without a plug hole. Totally watertight, totally watertight. So now we've made some stuff, it's time to fit it in a hotel room. Ta-da! Thanks for that. <laughs> ah! When I stay in very nice hotels, I like to bring my own large parrot tent. So this Hilton hotel room has a pull-out bed for kids, which we are going to turn into a ball pit. So out of all the amazing invention ideas we were sent for this challenge, loads of people suggested that we could have play areas and ball pits in the room. So we've attached a ball pit onto Evie's bed den invention. We're making a rainforest. Look at this. So for Rue's emergency inflatable bath invention, we've joined together our paddling pool sections, we've installed our plug hole, and we've also installed this compressed air valve. So this will allow us to connect the inflatable sections to this air tank. So this is a dive tank that's normally used to breathe underwater, but we can connect it with this little catch to our inflatable bath. And then, whenever you open the valve, it'll fill up with air, so you can take a bath, even if your hotel room only has a shower. So we're just installing some colour-changing LED lights because Evie wanted her bed den to have lights inside, as well as music, that you could control from a phone. And for music, we've got these two cool Bluetooth speakers that we're going to mount near the headboard. So we finished building our hotel room designed entirely by kids. And a massive thank you to Hilton Hotels for allowing us to do this. And a big thank you to our mini inventors for their incredible invention ideas. We've had so much fun bringing them to life. We always love seeing all your amazing invention ideas and we are super excited to show you in our next video the test of this awesome hotel room. Don't forget to check out the Team Trees campaign, which this video is supporting. Link will be in the description. Uh, and we will see you next week. Bye! Bye. Don't forget to like and subscribe.